Well, hello everyone, Tech Theater here, here, and welcome to another review. And now we're taking a look at the Commodore Amiga game SAS Combat Simulator, published by Codemasters in 1990, coded by Dave Simmons, graphics by Doug Townsley, and music by the brilliant Alistair Brimble. So, yes, this is his music you're hearing right now. Alistair Brimble, Brimble is probably best known for doing uh, music for some of Team 17's games, uh, including the, um, the, that's the, the superb music he's done for the Alien Breed games. And who can forget his epic rave tune from Project X. So this looks like it's a shoot 'em up that's multi-scrolling. So, without further ado, let's just get on with it. So, so, God, is this really a game from 1990? I mean, look at it. I mean, 1990 was the same, the, uh, the same year we had the first Turrican coming out. Oh, come on! Um, I clearly shot that guy. Oh, God. Oh, okay, I can't blow that up. Rapid fire. I oh, he didn't touch me. So already we've got problems with really naff graphics. Obnoxious sound effects. Well, I suppose they're not too bad, but they're not... They're, they're nowhere near great. So basically what we've got here is a pretty crappy Ikari Warriors clone by the looks of things. Oh come on! Hey! Did that guy just... No, oh, what did I do that for? See, see, this is a big problem. It's, when there's someone right round the corner from an obstacle like that, it's really, it's actually a lot harder to hit them than you might think because the bullets keep getting. See, look, I'm clearly, I should be able to hit that guy behind that rock, and I can't because the, because the, the bullets are being stopped by the rock that they're not even hitting. The collision detection in this is atrocious. Oh, for God's sake. Uh. Oh. Oh. This is... I can't even begin to tell you how crap this is. I mean, I know that... At least I can blow that one. How on earth did... Oh, not a... Um, so that, that... His grenade hit me, but when, I, when... When my grenade went near to him, that didn't work. Mm. Uh, what? God. Oh, they're two. What do you say? It looks like the enemies can blow themselves up. I mean, one of the one of the enemies uh, blew up that big. Oh, living hell! This is 1990. This came out. There's simply no excuse for a game to be this bad. And the AI of your opponent is blooming. It's just indescribably bad. What? How did that not blow them up? Oh my god, the collision detection in this is hideous. Oh god. And you get. And it's too easy to get. Oh, did I just manage not to. I. I was. It looked like it could be. I can't even shoot through explosions. 
this is oh god see look I clearly shot that guy and the bullet went straight through him uh. oh god See, look, I clearly shot that guy. Don't tell me that bullet didn't hit. It clearly went dead centre and it went straight through him. God, you could probably program, uh, you could probably develop a game and shoot him up construction kit that's better than this. Oh. So you get power-ups every time you walk over a Codemasters logo. Funny thing to find out in them. Oh, come on, I can see as you get. I clearly hit that guy. Ooh, cheap. Oh, now we're going, going up the screen. Ah, good. Not quite sure how a jeep can go sideways like that there. Really. Ooh, I hope that's I hope that's something decent. That'll do, extra life. Oh my word. No, now we've got a utterly atrocious green beret clone. Oh my god. Your timing has to be absolutely immaculate here. If you do it too soon, you'll you'll just miss. Too late and you get stabbed instead. Look at the way he's walking. <laughs> oh my god. And the sound effects are so repetitive. Oh God. Oh boy. Yeah, I can't put some numerical digits, it won't let me. Oh God, Alistair Brimble, how could you have some cool music of yours attached to a shoddy game like this? Oh, come on, I hit him. That sound effect is pathetic. I'm gonna get them. I can't. Oh, again, the. I'm fed up with these bullets going straight through the enemies. And I did, that guy didn't even touch me. There was clearly a gap between us. Oh, my word. That. He didn't touch me. I don't know how much more I can take of this. I'm... He didn't. Oh, the collision detection is really awful. I mean, it's like everyone's got this massive, great big hitbox around. Oh, he... the bullet went straight through him. Eat Jeep. Eat tire iron. I just reminded me of the character Zed from Police Academy 4 Citizens on Patrol You're wearing this leather jacket which had death by tire iron on the side how was he able to grenade me from that close you have to be 
further back than that for a grenade to hit than do, at least judging by everything else in this nonsensical game. Oh, friggin' hell. God damn it! Stop doing it! Uh, the bullets keep going straight through them! Oh, well, that would have just missed. I can't be bothered to play that anymore. That's absolutely crap. So that's SAS Combat Simulator for the Commodore Amiga. Well, I'd like to think that if this is supposedly simulating a real life activity, that in real life at least there'd be better collision detection. I mean, you could you can get killed by an enemy that didn't even touch you. You can get killed by a bullet that you know, the, the, that didn't touch you. Your bullets get stopped in mid-air if you're not if you don't catch them from, from far enough around an obstacle to for the hit them their angular overzealous hitboxes to even register that it's not supposed to have stopped them. Bullets of yours frequently go th right through your enemies. Graphics are abs an absolute eyesore and don't make the best use of the Amiga's capabilities, not even close to it. Sound effects are pathetic, uh, 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 range from pathetic to just not, uh, not particularly good. Um, Alistair Brimble's music is pretty cool though. Gameplay, well for 1990 this was not going to cut in. It's repetitive, the collision detection's all over the place. That, um, that side-on, um, that side-on thing is absolutely awful. Uh, and you're, if your timing's even just slightly off, then you're good. <laughs> You're going to get stabbed and die, and the graphics in that are even worse than in the um, in that first section. So no, SAS Combat Simulator is not a good game. It's only real saving graces of the uh, uh, Alistair Brimble's music and the fact that this uh, this game for an Amiga was a very cheap game, four pounds ninety nine. Even even most budget titles were were usually somewhere in the region of seven pounds ninety nine into nine pounds ninety nine. So uh, a four pound ninety nine cost game, especially from a fairly established, uh, generally uh, competent uh, publishing company like Codemasters, you expect something quite a bit better than this. So I'm going to give SAS Combat Simulator 3 out of 10. And that's somewhat generous. I mean, as I said, it's only really the music and the, and the low price that's helped it even get that. Otherwise, it, would, it, would be, it, would have, it would definitely wouldn't have got more than the two. This, the game itself is abysmal. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this review. Hope to catch you on another video soon. Taxi 88, out.